So tonight, the Astros and the Yankees start the ALCS, and I feel like this is going to be a really good series. Why not do an ALCS, a super team between these two teams? I think it's going to be a good series, like I've mentioned. And in the comment section, I want you to let me know who you guys think is going to win this series, the Astros or the Yankees. Also, if you guys want to see the NLCS super team, hit the like button. Let's try to aim for 200 likes on the video. And tomorrow morning, I will get you guys an NLCS super team with the Nationals and the Cardinals. Other than that, guys, you guys know what to do. Make sure you turn on bell notification icons and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Make sure you turn on all notifications so you're notified whenever a video does go live. Other than that, guys, thumbs up the video. That's the easiest way for me to know that you guys are still enjoying these super teams. We've done California, New York, NL Central. We've come up with some pretty good ones. I think this team right here between the Astros and the Yankees might be that one team that competes with California so far. So other than that, guys, let's hop into this video. So I've decided to stick into the bottom right corner since it's easier that I don't block anything. And also, once we start quick managing games, then we'll actually just have that work out. I don't have to move myself. So for pitching, this is what we're kind of working with. Verlander, Cole, Granke, Severino, and Paxson. I felt like those were the best starting pitchers for this team. I felt like that was the best option. And I actually want not Joe Smith. I want Brad Peacock because he had, he had a he had a decent season. He wasn't amazing or anything, but as a like a sixth man or like that long reliever, he was the best option between the two teams that I found that was available. When we move to the relief pitchers, we have Will Harris, Presley, Adovino, and Zach Britton. All of them had phenomenal years for the Yankees and the Astros. We could have thrown in Tommy Canely as well, but I felt like these were the best ones available, especially since both closers for both teams did outstanding. Osuna and Chapman, unbelievable years. I felt like we had to put both of them in. When we moved to catchers, I mean, there really wasn't too much to choose from between the two teams. Gary's obviously going to be the starter. Chirinos is going to be the backup. Yes, there's Martin Maldonado and things like that, but come on, we got to go with these two. First base, Jordan Alvarez and Louis Gariel were probably the two best options. Yes, there's Luke Voigt. Yes, there's Edwin. But when you compare the stats of Jordan and also Yuli, I think it's the best two options at first base hands down second base there's a lot of competition you got dj lemayhew jose, jose altuve and glaber torres i mean look at all these players there's a lot to compete with all of them are very good all of them had phenomenal years so it's it's a toss-up between who you could really play at second base when you move to third base bregman hands down was the best third baseman on the two teams you could have obviously been like well dj lemayhew played third base too but Bregman is definitely that guy. Shortstop, Carlos Correa was definitely better than Didi Gregorius. So we're going to throw Carlos Correa at short. In left field, Stanton, when he came back and was healthy, had a phenomenal season. Michael Brantley had a phenomenal year throughout the entire season, almost a career year. Um, so definitely between those two left fielders, I think we're set. When we moved to center, George Springer had a great year. Struggled to stay healthy a little bit, but when healthy, he looked unstoppable. George Springer had a great year. And then right field, we're going to go with Aaron Judge. So when you look at this team, we'll hop over to the pitching rotation. This is what it's going to look like. Um, we're actually going to take Presley, move him here, move Will Harris up. We're going to... I hate that this does this. But this is what we're going to look like. Verlander, Cole, Granke, Severino, Paxton. And then this is going to be our bullpen. I mean, the bullpen looks amazing. I think the rotation looks really solid as well. And then when you look at the lineup, it's it looks amazing also. Like it's it's tough to be like, we gotta take out this person and put this person in, or we gotta put this person in and take this person out. I don't think you could go wrong with who you're playing. Maybe go Stanton, move Altuve up. I don't really know. It's 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 really a toss-up. You could really throw in whoever you wanted, wherever you wanted, and it would still be a really good team. So I may switch up the lineup just a little bit, but this is the team. It is a very good Houston Astros. New York Yankees combination. I think the super team might be the best one we've put together, even better than the California super team. So let's sim a season and see how it goes. Unfortunately, just, just this close, 106 and 56. We won the division and we're taking on the winner of the wild card, which, you know, means we're getting knocked out. But I thought I thought we had a good team here. And it was a good team. It really was. It's just we were four games off tying that 110 wins that the California super team won. So Jose Altuve had a phenomenal season and pitching wise, it looks like between Severino, Cole and Paxton, 
we had a really good year. So let's take a look at our MLB team rankings just to kind of see where we were. We had the best batting average, which I think is the first time we've done that. At bats, we had the second most. Runs, we had the most. Hits, the most doubles the most so maybe offensively we've really created a super team here home runs is pretty low um that's kind of low number considering like in real life teams were hitting a lot more but 293 okay runs batted in we had the most so it looks like hitting wise we did really well like we had some of the best offense in the league let's take a look at some of this this pitching era too we had the best era um complete games shutouts saves were not up there which is a little worrying but we're not up there for blown saves either so i guess we didn't really have a lot of save opportunities runs allowed so overall we just had a really good team like it looks like things went really well we're ranked first in contact power pitching 13th in defense and 16th in speed um i mean we had the best record in baseball so i mean i guess we can't complain about that when we take a look at awards we had rookie of the year and also a Cy Young so not terrible at all Garrett Cole definitely the Cy Young winner there and then obviously Jordan Alvarez is a beast so he's gonna win rookie of the year let's take a look at our pitching rotation see how things went Justin Verlander okay Garrett Cole did well Granke did respectable as well Severino had a great year um probably probably even can move him up um James Paxton did well as well so maybe kind of go like this maybe even have Granky be our five which is crazy to think about but looking at this rotation i think we got a really solid one brad peacock was solid in that long relief and then when you look at our bullpen there's definitely some question marks like chapman um but for the most part things went really well um yeah two players that performed poorly out of everybody else i think i'm okay with that when we take a look at our bench brantley did well yuli guriel struggled a little bit obviously he decreased in rating quite a bit Glaber Torres did well, probably a little bit down on the morale since he was a bench player. And then Chirinos, Altuve had a great year, hit almost 40 home runs. DJ LeMahieu did well, Stanton did well, Judge, Jordan Alvarez was obviously rookie of the year, deserved it based on those stats. Springer, Bregman, Correa, and then Gary Sanchez. So I can see why we had some of the best offense in the league. LeMahieu hit the least amount of home runs. Everybody had over 25 that started besides LeMahieu. And when you look at our bench, Glaber had 12. Um, I mean, we hit a lot of home runs. We brought we brought in a lot of runs. I feel like this is a really good offense. I think statistically, this is the best team we've put up in terms of run production, best pitching. I just think that the wins, obviously we didn't make it. So let's, let's, let's take a look at this postseason run we're gonna go against the a's we lose the first wow okay we win the second and lose the third okay happens every single time we're gonna have paxton take the mound we're gonna go against the athletics and hopefully we can you know win this game win the last game of the series and move forward they haven't changed the lineup whatsoever and uh, for a one season challenge to get knocked out in the first round of the playoffs would be horrible with a team that put up such great offensive numbers, which is kind of like a theme. It looks like every time we have a really good offensive team, they fall flat in the postseason, which I don't understand. Bases loaded one out, please. At least we get some runs out of it. It's a five run inning, it's an eight run inning, and I think it's a 10 run inning. And I think at this point, I think we're good. I think we've moved um, past this game and what I'll do is I'll, I'll start to do like half inning sims are they out of pitchers they kept leaving Trevino in for quite some time it's 12 to nothing and things are looking pretty good so I'm gonna continue to kind of quickly sim through this one just so that we can move on to the next game which I think you know obviously is the the do or die game so let's hop into it quick manage this one we're at home Minute Maid Park we're gonna let I feel like Granky should be able to take on Sean Manaya easily. Right? Right, right? You would think. So hopefully things go well. Matt Chapman goes deep, of course. Um bases loaded, no outs, one run scores, two. <laughs> really? Like, come on. Like, I don't understand it why why are why is this ha it's a 10 run game and we're in the second it's an 11 what happened there's 
like I get like maybe we could have put in Garrett Cole things would have been different but what just completely changes that everything's gonna fall apart like this and we're gonna be down 13 to 1 in a do or die game our only hits and our only runs are from Jordan Alvarez otherwise I think everybody in this lineup has a home run no joke I think everybody in the athletics lineup besides Chris Davis has some sort of run contribution that's insane that shouldn't happen can we put up 10 runs this inning it all comes down to this inning double play perfect i just i'm flabbergasted what happened one run four runs three runs we did a shutout and then we just get absolutely blasted for 14 runs 10 of them in the first two innings how what happened 200 for our leadoff hitter Aaron judge hit under 200 i mean offensively there's some good averages here just maybe the pitching did poorly garrett cole probably should have pitched that last game i guess i didn't think zach granke would have totally fallen apart I guess just our bullpen really let us down. I think that's it. Six runs allowed, eight runs allowed. I guess it really just came down to the bullpen and the starting rotation really just falling apart, which when you look at it, you would think this would be a really solid starting rotation. This would be a team that can push for the playoffs. And unfortunately, it didn't. So sadly, that's how this super team is going to end. The ALCS super team just wasn't that good apparently they just couldn't beat the oakland athletics which is disappointing to think we had 20 wins on them we had 20 more wins and we weren't able to beat them which is unfortunate it sucks and that's how the alcs super teams season ends if you guys want to see the nlcs super team make sure you hit that 200 like goal that's right 200 like goal hit that like button down below subscribe if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed the content again bell notification icons make sure you click them so you guys are notified whenever a video does go live and that's really about it guys i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment let me know who you think is going to win the astros or the yankees in tonight's series or the start of tonight's series i want to see who you think is going to win the series and that's it guys i hope you enjoyed the video i'll catch you all in the next one peace